Slings are dumb. <laughs> Welcome, young Garrett. In the nearby rooms, I will instruct you in the various skills you will need to survive. Ugh. Please stay in the entrance area to each room while I explain the room's purpose. When you are ready to begin your lessons, proceed down this hallway to the first room. You must learn how to move unseen. Stay in the shadows. Avoid the light. Well done. The indicator on your I screen will tell you how visible you are. Try to reach the top of the platform without being seen. Now you must learn to move quietly. So One of these days I'll get past the first three levels. I did that moving quickly first. makes more noise than moving slowly. Listen to your own footsteps to hear how much noise you are making. The instructor will have his back turned. You must get to the top of the platform without being heard. Now get your weapons. To pick up objects, select them by centering them on screen until they light up. Then use them. Choose your weapon now. Try readying your sword and then your bow. You can always put them away again if you need your hands free. Two, three. Now let's go out to the courtyard for some target practice. Ready your bow. Knock an arrow and draw back the string by holding down the attack button. Make sure you draw all the way back, for your shot will not have full power. Take aim, and when you are ready to shoot, release your attack. See if you can hit one of these targets. Now you will learn new movement skills. First, climb the rope by jumping onto it. Move while that was a up good or down training. Climb up or down that was good. Position. I want to check the in-game package. Jump a gun, you will release if I'm your really lucky, that could be like a 133. To top of the platform. Well done. Run and jump across the gap to the other... 133. Holy crap. Okay, I'm pretty sure that is the best humanly possible time you can get on Keeper's Training without chance. 